What do you see the Broncos doing at number five Thursday night? Well, this mock draft season has gotten crazy, but I do see a curveball here in this mock draft. You're going to have Sam Darnold go one. I think the Giants then take Saquon Barkley at three. The Jets get Mayfield. Four, Chubb goes to the Browns in a surprise that leaves Josh Allen on the board. Elway mentioned four quarterbacks, first round grade, Woody. That means there's going to be guys he likes at that point. But he also said it's probably going to come down to two guys. So my opinion, if Mayfield or Allen are on the board at five, they take him. And in this case, I believe it's going to be Josh Allen, which wow. is a perfect guy if you're talking about getting a year as a red shirt under Case Keenum. I wouldn't go quarterback necessarily, but I think he's going to be available at five and they take him. Let me help you out, kid. It's a five-year league now. It's not Quentin Nelson coming in to play for the Broncos for 14 years in the yeah, offensive right. line. Okay, I'm with you. Five years. That's what you get the guy. If people go, well, you don't want to draft Barkley because he's only going to be around for seven years. Terrell Davis was around for seven years. They won two Super Bowls. I would take him for seven years. Whatever, If you take a quarterback, he's not going to play for two years. So you're going to get three years out of him before he can become a free agent. And he'll either go somewhere or you're going to have to pay him $250 million. <laughs> By that time, you know that. You're laughing about it. I go for the best player in the draft. That's Saquon Barkley. And he may not be there. Well, at that point, you trade down, which he mentioned. John right. Elway talked about it. Go with Buffalo, let them draft one of those quarterbacks, get 12 and 22 in a second next year or a third this year, and you get yourself a quality player at 12, and you get Will Hernandez at 22. Wow. All right, Saquon Barkley for Woody Page, Josh Allen. You say the Broncos are going to take, but you wouldn't take him yourself, Jordan. Not necessarily. I just don't. I think if you're going to get better next year, you got to take a guy who's going to impact the field immediately. Who would you take? Huh? I would take Bradley Chubb. I would take Bradley Chubb because you're wasting the prime years yeah. of Von Miller if they don't get a consistent pass rush. And you can use Ray, but Chubb and they Ray haven't and Miller. Talked, they haven't talked to Chubb for one minute. Well, you they talked they to guys last year like Carlos Henderson and Langley and Paxton Lynch. How did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, John was asked how important it is to talk to these guys and meet them face to face. He said it was pretty important, but for he also said that... Yes. Yeah, he also said we, we, didn't, we don't need to, right? I mean, right. it's good, but... Who knows, man? Well, they wanted to talk to Mayfield like 18 times already. I know. <laughs> if Mayfield's on the board, they're taking him. They would take him over Allen. I just wow. don't think Mayfield's available. I think there's and a then, chance the way it falls if Darnold goes one. Now, Allen could go one. Yeah. But I think it's going to be Darnold. If Darnold goes one, there's a chance Allen's available at five. And you say the one guy who doesn't want a quarterback is Vance Joseph. Well, he, he's trying to coach for his job on a right. daily basis. He thought Chad Kelly was the best quarterback in the draft last year. He wants to go there. So uh, I just think that if you haven't talked to a guy, you're not going to draft him. Right. I just don't think it. The last guy that, that Chenahan didn't talk to was Cutler. Jay Cutler, and right. And he ended up with him. That worked How'd out that fine work out? for somebody else. <laughs>